There's always gonna be new trends to follow in the industry, new marketing trends. So shiny object syndrome, I feel, is something that all entrepreneurs face at one point or another. Welcome to Callum Connect's micro podcast. Our guest today is John Mendez. John is the host of the Walk to Wealth podcast. A hurdle I have faced as an entrepreneur is shiny object syndrome. It's something that has plagued most entrepreneurs, I feel like, if not all, at some point in their life, especially when starting off. There's so many different ways to make money, whether that's job shipping, whether that's network marketing, whether that's affiliate marketing, whether that's you know real estate. There's so many different ways that you can make money nowadays, especially with the internet, that starting off in entrepreneurship, or even once you have a more developed company, right, and your, your business is already up and running, there's always going to be new trends to follow in the industry, new marketing trends. So shiny object syndrome, I feel, is something that all entrepreneurs face at one point or another. And how I was able to overcome this is I started really looking into purpose. What is my purpose? How do I find that? And what have other people done to get in alignment? And so a little bit about me. I got my real estate license and then I started a social media marketing agency and I kept finding myself distracted. I had the podcast at the same time and as you know, you know, what you focus on expands. I'd much rather be, you know, an inch wide mile deep than a mile wide inch deep, right? And that takes a lot of focus to start getting really deep and really good at anything. And it took me a little while to finally um, put that together. So I, once I realized that the podcast is what I wanted to do, I kind of used this exercise that I use that I learned from it's a, an island in Japan, and the people on the island have the longest life expectancy on the planet. And the concept is called Ikigai. So forgive me for not remembering what the island is called, but the concept is called Ikigai. And I'll try to explain it as best as I can because I know this is audio only. But imagine there's four, four circles, right? And where all four circles intersect, that is your Ikigai. And it pretty much stands for your reason for being. And so the first circle, and this is an exercise you guys could do while listening, right, is what do you love to do, right? Make a list of all the things you love to do, all the things that you would do to, you know, the rest of your life, even if no one ever paid you a single penny. What do you genuinely love to do? The next circle is what does the world need? Now, the world needs a lot. There's a lot of different issues, a lot of stuff going on. The world is an amazing, beautiful place, but there's always something going on that the world needs help with. And so... What problems do you feel compelled to speak on, right? And it could be politics, it could be, you know, obesity, it could be helping people find their purpose, it could be a, a bunch of different things. So what problems do you feel, you know, pulled or compelled to speak? The third circle is what can you be rewarded for? A lot of times we uh, get into doing things that may be volunteering or charity, charity work, and that's great. It makes you feel great. It makes you feel fulfilled. But if you do that long enough, eventually, you're going to have to still pay the bills. You're still going to have to put food on the table. You're still going to have to take care of yourself and your loved one. So what is something that you could do and be rewarded for? And then the last circle is what are you good at? This circle can, I take it one of two ways. It's either the skills that you already had that you're excellent in, or what skills do you have the aptitude to be good in? For example, if you're tall, you may not be good at basketball, but you may have a better chance of going to someone, you know, going to the next level to play basketball or going to college to play basketball than someone who's not as tall or someone who's really tiny, right? So what are you good at or what do you have the aptitude to potentially be good at? And once you find that intersection of those four circles, that is what you call your icky guy, your reason for being. And I'll leave you guys with this. The two most important days in your life are the day where you were born and the day you find out why. Now, I know this was just a short exercise, But if this helped you find or get at least a little bit closer to your reason for being, make sure to go check out the Walk to Wealth podcast. Amazing. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc.